All right, so there's another question that I have that... I don't understand how this is supposed to make sense. Okay, so, naturals. If they may or may not include zero... How can you say that the integers are the natural numbers and their negatives? Zero is not the negative of anything. So if the natural numbers doesn't include zero, this definition of integer does not work. The only way to get a definition of integer that actually extends the natural numbers for either meaning of natural numbers is you have to explicitly include zero as a special case in the integers. Which means it's not an extension of the natural numbers if zero is a natural number because now it's redundant. You have zero twice. This is why you need to make this explicit. It's not really an, the extension of the natural numbers and their negatives. It's the extension of the whole numbers, which includes zero, and the negatives of the natural numbers. Further, these are not actually positive. Okay? Because they don't have, they don't have a, an opposite, right? These aren't vectors. These are actually numbers. So they don't have a sign. When they're integers, they gain a sign. What happened is, we're just really lazy and don't write the sign when it's positive. And that conflates bare numbers with positives. Okay, so the natural numbers here, not including zero, are not actually positive. Right, so right off the bat, you're fucking shit up. You're saying stuff completely wrong. And it, it doesn't work. <sighs> What the hell? Like, okay, so here, and then all along, all of the diagrams just include zero with the natural numbers, right? And we keep noting, oh, it may be included, zero may be in there, but you keep assuming that it is. Okay, so what does it look like when zero's not included? What do the diagrams look like when zero's not included? And in the, in the last video, I got a little excited about about this down here because I was reading it wrong I was like oh they're not counting zero as a natural number they are definitely right because the natural numbers are integers so the way these are drawn it's it's including everything down to zero at every step right in the middle of the video I I recognize like right after I started talking about it I, I realized that I got a little over zealous about that that maybe here they were smart and they didn't include zero as the natural number and they did it in the alternative way, which you should be taking into account all along, but that's not what happened. Still though, you can see that zero is a problem because how can it be imaginary and real? Zero i is distinct from z zero as a real value, which is why zero plus zero i is a complex number, right? Because the complex, the complex numbers have a, a real and an imaginary component. Zero, so the complex zero is zero plus zero i. Those two zeros are different from each other, but they map to the same point. They are identical. They are exactly the same point. So you have this set, the imaginaries, 
which includes zero, and you have this set, the reals, which includes zero, and they're both inside of this set, the complex num values, the complex numbers, vectors, that includes zero, and they're all the same zero, but they're different from each other. And you have this integer zero that is under some interpretations of natural numbers completely inexplicable. Where did it come from? Right? If we can call just the just these, just the counting numbers, natural, the natural numbers, okay, if that can be what natural numbers mean an integer is the natural numbers and their negatives, that would mean that the integers are... doesn't include zero. That is never addressed. The, the redundancy of mentioning zero over and over and over again is never addressed. And if you properly define integers, if we're going to call these natural numbers and these natural numbers, the proper definition of integer needs to account for that. And if taking this, it needs to introduce a zero, but then that means that it's redundantly defined a zero, okay? So we have a redundant definition of zero here if we're doing this correctly, and then we also get redundant definitions of zero if we're handling the imaginaries and the complex numbers correctly. But they're all exactly the same point. So what you're doing is you're building up sets with, they have completely different names for exactly the same thing. They don't properly overlap. They're not sharing this point. The way you're defining them, they are complements. You have the complex values, the complex vectors, the complex numbers, whatever the fuck you want to call them. I really don't want to call them complex numbers because they're not fucking numbers. The complex vectors is the, the combination of the reals and the imaginaries. That's how they're written. That's how it's treated. That's how it's thought of. Zero plus zero i is the complex zero. That is distinct from zero, the real zero. That is distinct from zero i, the imaginary zero. You have to put a plus in there, an and, because you have both, right? So the imaginary zero is not the real zero in terms of complex values. Right? In order to describe the origin in the complex number plane, you need two coordinates, two zeros that are distinct from each other. They mean different things. They're talking about different things. So, zero is not simultaneously, under this view, it is not simultaneously real and imaginary. Thus, the imaginaries should be, within the complex set, the imaginaries should be the complement to the reals. And we treat it as such, casually, all the goddamn time. And this actually starts here with the naturals. We're handling it wrong here. We're handling it wrong at this level. We're handling it wrong at this level. We're handling it wrong at this level. <laughs> right? Which means we're handling it wrong at this level. And that means that we're handling it wrong once we get to the complex numbers as well. Why? Why does anyone look at this and say this makes sense? It doesn't. This is trash. And I'm not going to say that there isn't a way to get set theory to work. What I'm saying is what is currently accepted doesn't work. Unambiguously, this does not work. <laughs>